Hello, my name is Eric Shade. I'm a mechanical engineering student here at Western Kentucky University. And today I would like to go over a brief presentation about regular script and the four master calligraphers that developed a few of the well-known styles of regular script. So for our brief overview of regular script, we have that regular script is one of the most, uh, it's the current official script used in China and it's most commonly seen in items such as textbooks. It is officially evolved from clerical script by transitioning from clerical script's uh, strokes to the much straighter and flatter strokes that regular script uses today. It came about during the Han Dynasty and but it was not until the later Tang Dynasty that it was later uh, much more widely accepted and used. And regular script is important because it is it must be learned before you branch off to different styles of Chinese calligraphy such as seal script or clerical script. So for uh, our master calligraphers I'm going to go over a brief history uh, a quick summary of their style and here I have a character uh, detailing their style. So our first master calligrapher is Ouyang Shun and he was an imperial calligrapher during the Tang Dynasty and he was best he was one of the best calligraphers of uh, Kaishu. He was a very well-known scholar and he was absolutely obsessed with calligraphy. His style was very well known for being graceful, ordered, and having very organic and geometrical structures. Next we have Yang Shenqing. He was both a general and politician for the Tang Dynasty. He was a calligrapher that was very well known. He was very straightforward, honest, and loyal. Those are some of his most defining uh, character traits. And his calligraphy style was developed to reflect this and that it was known to be a very strong style with firm, broad strokes, particularly uh, vertical strokes. Next we have uh, Laiyu Gongquan. He was also a politician during the Tang Dynasty. He was very persistent and calm-minded. He is well known for having a single calligraphy character that ended up being sold for thousands of pieces of gold. And he also established that having a good mindset and mental state uh, led to much better calligraphy pieces. His style was known to be thin and even though it was known to be thin, it was also known to be a very strong style of calligraphy. <coughs> and lastly, we have Zhao Mengfu. He was a very well-known painter and calligrapher, and he lived during the Yuan Dynasty. His style is known to be very clean, fresh, and crisp as well as being traditional and creative. Here I'd like to go over one of my regular script works. I believe this was the third regular script work that we submitted for our class here. And I tend to use a bit thicker strokes, um, though I do a good job keeping the characters nice and centered in the page and in their dedicated grid points. And I do a very good job at making my name and dates use very fine brush strokes for that and making sure that they are a good deal smaller than my actual calligraphy work characters. That way you can more clearly see which characters are for the actual calligraphy piece versus which one is just simply the name and date. <coughs> And to compare, I have a calligraphy piece written by Colby Bailo. It is the same calligraphy piece. And you can see on his piece, 
he does also a very good job at keeping his characters centered and their respective grid points on the paper. And he does a good job, particularly with the starting and ending finer, finer details of the brush strokes. And he has much more, uh, much more rigid brush stroke structure than mine. So that is all I have for you tonight. Thank you.